Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Dr. Islam speaking, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, parse final needle electromyographic testing, and I'm going to go through the procedure with you today. Uh, first, um, I'm going to show you this video. This video is was actually taken was, was in my office, and I'm going to show you here how to do needle the procedure of how to do a needle electromyographic testing to the parse spinal muscles. So first, the first thing you need to do, of course, you're going to uh, use a sterile technique, getting your, uh, your machine ready with your needle. Uh, the, you're going to choose the needle depending on um, um, on, ha on the depth and how how far from skin the point is that you need to uh, uh, to reach the parse spinal muscles. The first, you're going to start palpating the both anterior and superior iliac spines, just like in the in the video, and you the point that you are both that you'll find medially. This is the distance. This is the point that separates L4 and L5. So actually, you're gonna draw a vertical line here, and this vertical line will separate. L4 from L5. So this is going to be L4 when you palpate with your hand. This is going to be L4. This will be L5, and this will be S1. So why that's so important? Actually, that's really really important because when you palpate the you know that this is S1, this is the first the first step for you to be able to localize the entry point where you're going to go. Uh, uh, with your needle through. So the first thing you're gonna you, you're gonna palpate as one. Then you're gonna go two finger breadth lateral to that, and then you're gonna go two finger breadth superior to that. And this point will be the entry point to test for S1. And then superior to that will be L5. Superior to that will be L4. So this is basically how you start. And again, in my office, for example, we have a policy that we do a musculoskeletal ultrasound to to guide the needle insertion uh, um, when when we when we do a vertebral paraspinal needle examination. So I'm, first, I'm going to go through the the blind technique first, just like that, and then we're going to go through how to, to use a diagnostic ultrasound to ensure appropriate localization of um, of the level. So first, after you find your point, that's L. Now you, you use uh, you localize L4, L5, and S1, and then you're going to go two finger breadth as as I just said lateral, then two finger breadth superior, and now this is S1. And you're gonna enter your needle in a medial fashion with a, with an angulation of 45 degrees towards the spine, and this will be your entry point. All right. So let's say that you want to be more safe and more accurate, and you want to use diagnostic ultrasound to get a better picture. So you're going to need uh, um, a, a, a diagnostic ultrasound, and you're going to use a transverse, just like that, you're going to use a transverse view to visualize the spine of the patient. And you're going to use the pictures in the machine so you guide your needle insertion. So let's say that this, this is a patient, for example, that's the spine, and we got the diagnostic ultrasound, and now I am localizing the vertebrae so I can find the entry point safely and accurately. So now, this is what you're going to see in your ultrasound machine when you go, uh, when you when you do, when you get a a, um, a transverse view of the spine. So basically, this here, what you can find that. This is the spinous process of the patient. This is the paraspinal muscles on the right, paraspinal muscles on the left, and the, the exiting nerve is going from here on both sides. So what you're going to do is now you can visualize the paraspinal muscles very obviously here, and you're going to guide your needle insertion in a 45 degrees fashion, medially towards the spine, just right there, until you hit 
the anneal field of the needle, your needle hit the bone of the spinous process. Using diagnostic ultrasound, you will you will be very accurate, and you will actually um, uh, ensure that you're not too superficial or too deep, so you get the better response. Um, um, and you get accurate, more accurate results. So this this is was the uh, needle electromagnetic testing for postpandal muscles using the blind technique and using the ultrasound guided technique.